Hey y'all, my name's Rusty. I'm a coach here at the Wichita Falls Athletic Club. Today we're gonna to be talking about shirts. First things first, always wear a 100% cotton shirt whenever you're lifting weights, right? However, if you don't have one of those and you're wearing one of these, these are high tech shirts. These are made for wicking sweat off the body. Great for that, bad for weightlifting. Go ahead and get another bar, Bree. Go ahead and take it out. Now Bree, she's an experienced weightlifter. She's got nice muscles here to hold the bar. However, not everybody has that. And this bar wants to slide very easily up and down the back. If you don't have these, it's going to want to slide down your back. Go ahead and re-rack it. We're gonna show you a little trick just in case you're caught with one of these shirts. Um, it's not gonna be optimal though. If you are caught with one of these shirts and you don't have a 100% cotton shirt, chalk will be your friend. Just go ahead and put a little bit of chalk on either side where the bar will be sitting. That'll create a little more friction. Go ahead and get back under the barbary. Go ahead and take it out. Back. Now she has a little more friction where the bar is sitting. This will prevent it from sliding down. Now this is not optimal. You want a 100% cotton shirt. Go ahead and re-rack it. Okay, Brie is now wearing a 100% cotton t-shirt. Go ahead and take it out, Brie. Because this isn't that high-tech material that's super slippery, it's got a lot more grip, and the bar does not want to slide, which is what you want when you got a load on your back. Okay, go ahead and re-rack it. Now, one caveat to take out of this is you might think you have a 100% cotton t-shirt, but it might be a synthetic blend, and it might not be as sticky as you want it to be. So look at your shirts, make sure they're 100% cotton, and go lift some heavyweights.